Hi, my name is Justin from JustThisGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this awesome blurred light streak effect to add some life to your photos. So this effect definitely works better with nighttime photos with some bright highlights in them. So this city at night with the, all the lights on in the building will work great. The first thing you want to do is head over to the layer, right click and duplicate it because we're going to be blurring this layer on top. So how we're going to do that is go to filter, blur, and first we're going to use lens blur to create those highlights. Now if you're running a slower computer, this filter does take a lot of time to preview the adjustments. So be patient or grab a snack. But just to break it down for you really quickly, you just want to set the shape to pentagon. You want to set the radius to about 50. Um, the blade curvature to about 50, it doesn't really matter. The rotation doesn't really matter. But the most important part is the specular highlights panel. You want to turn the threshold up pretty high. Um, this is going to tell Photoshop to, to only brighten up the most brightest of bright pixels, which are going to be like the lights in the original photo. And then you want to turn the brightness of those pixels up pretty high as well. Um, for my particular photo, I'm using 99, which is almost at the top but it's going to be different for your photo so play around with it the main goal is to just get some specs of highlights you don't want the whole thing to be blown out with highlights and then noise make sure you have the noise set to zero because if you don't it'll create a problem so go ahead and select OK when you have something similar to this and then next what you're going to do is go to filter blur again and you're going to use the motion blur so you want to set the angle at exactly zero degrees and we'll use a distance of about 1000 pixels. You just want the highlights to kind of spread to the edges of the screen. So next we're going to set that blending mode of that layer to screen and then one final step is go to image adjustments brightness contrast and just turn the contrast up a bit so that it doesn't wash out the entire photo. So we've added the light streaks, but to really make those streaks glow with color, we're going to add one adjustment layer, and that's Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Color Balance. This is a pretty simple way to adjust the colors of your photo, but under the tone, let's start with the highlights. You can go any direction you like, but a cool looking one is always drag the highlights up in the yellows and reds just a bit. And then for the shadows, drag in the blues and cyans. Um, you can adjust the midtones a bit too if you'd like. But really just play around with it and fine tune it until you get something that looks cool for your photo and your taste. So that's with the color balance layer applied. Adds a nice little glow to the entire photo. And then lastly, um, one thing I like to do to make sure the photo didn't get too bright is to add one more layer and that's layer, new layer, and then we're just going to click select all and we're going to right click that selection and make a stroke. And we're going to make a stroke inside of about 20 pixels. Um, you, it's going to be smaller or larger depending on how small or large your photo is. And then we're going to right click and deselect and then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. So just turn the radius up until you have a nice vignette. So if you followed me along, that's, that's what we're doing with all those filters. That's just another way to create a vignette if you want to place it on top of all the layers. And the reason we did it this way, we'll go ahead and select OK at about 300 Actually, you know, I'm going to type 250 at about 250 pixels. And then we're going to set the blending mode of that to overlay. So what that kind of does is darkens up the edges and the corners. Um, you can adjust the opacity of it too if it's too strong for your photo. But it kind of darkens up the corners, adds a dark little vignette, and draws the person's eyes to the middle and kind of makes sure that we didn't get too bright with the highlights. So at this point you can go back and fine tune your layers. Maybe if you feel like your light streaks needed to be a little brighter, you can click back on that layer, 
um, go to image adjustments, brightness contrast again, and maybe turn the contrast and brightness up a little bit if you feel like you want them to pop a little bit more. But all those steps are in your hands now that you know the basic technique. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a like, a thumbs up, and leave me a comment on what you'd like to see next or what you had trouble with. Also, you can find the, the free PSD for this tutorial on my website, www.justthisgood.com. I have lots of PSDs on there. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all just this good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.